So the thing about being a crafter is I always want to make people presents for things, but I live with my partner and Valentine's Day is coming up. So rather than try to sneak behind his back and make a sweater for him, do you want to pick out your own yarn for your sweater? Let's do it. So the thing about Josh is that he's really tall, and so whenever we're in videos together, people always think that I'm really short, but he's actually like six foot four. <laughs> so I'm actually pretty tall too. <laughs> and it's hard for him to find sweaters that are like long enough. So it's gonna be fun to make him a sweater because I can make it exactly his size. So as you know, I'm still new to the knitting machine, but I'm pretty sure the only kind of yarn you really can't use is wool. Okay. So I think anything but wool is good. And we're looking for like a medium weight yarn, a worsted weight yarn, okay. which would be like um, about a four. A four. Yeah, oh, so, so it's four, four right there. Back. That's convenient. When I tell y'all, I've been crocheting for 20 years and I had no idea what a worsted weight yarn was until one of our last live streams. And somebody mentioned it and I was like, I almost too embarrassed to look this up at this point, but I don't know what a worsted weight yarn is. Now I do. Worsted weight yarn is usually a four. I like that cotton candy color. Imagine just like a big, big hoodie. It just looked like all the colors of your favorite cotton candies. And there's a lot of them. Is this a good price though? Yeah. Will four be enough? I think it should be. And honestly, it'll be a really good test for us to see how many skeins of yarn we need to make you a sweater. That's fair. How much is it going to come out to? Um, so they're doing buy three, get one free. So three, they're $12 each. So $36 for the four of them. Ooh. Yeah. I mean, that'd be a really good price if we can get a big sweater for you for $36. Yeah, that'd be awesome. just procrastinate a project so much and you don't know why. I have had this yarn for the last like three or four days and I still haven't started this project. Literally, let me show you what else I made this week when I should have been working on this sweater. Granny squares. Y'all, I have never been a granny square girly, but I got the color changing granny square yarn. I have lots of feelings about this yarn. I will be doing a full review in a couple weeks once I've made enough of these to make something out of them. But y'all, granny squares. Speaking of granny squares, I also started this giant sweater vest granny square thing that I'm making for Josh out of this like wool yarn that he really liked. I'm so excited about how this is gonna turn out. But see what I mean? I keep like doing other things instead of actually working on the sweater for Valentine's Day. I think it's because I'm just a little bit nervous to make somebody else's sweater. Like I know Josh is gonna love it no matter what, but I've only ever made one other sweater on the knitting machine. And I just, I have this vision for the future where I can get so good at making sweaters on the knitting machine that I can just make everyone in my life these like super fun, customized, personalized sweaters. So I don't know, I'm just putting a lot of pressure on myself with this sweater, which is silly. Like it's Josh, he's gonna love it. Now that I've admitted to y'all that I've been procrastinating and I'm a little nervous about this project, let's set up some cozy vibes and let's make a sweater. Do you want Wendy's? Ooh, that sounds nice. Okay, let's do Wendy's. <laughs> okay, my food just got here. I want to eat it while it's hot and tell you guys what I decided to do. So I thought I was going to listen to a new audiobook series while making this sweater, but I really, really, really want to go see the new Hunger Games movie soon because I haven't seen it yet. So I'm going to rewatch all the old Hunger Games while we make the sweater. I know it won't be exactly precise because I'm gonna be like filming and talking to you guys and showing you what we're doing, but I wanna see, generally speaking, how many Hunger Games movies does it take me to make a sweater. Something I will admit that I hate about the knitting machine is that you can only use yarn cones or yarn cakes. So before I start any project, I have to wind up the yarn with my yarn winder. So right now in the Hunger Games, Girl on Fire is being introduced for the first time. They just got to the Capitol. They're in their chariots. And we just finished winding our yarn. So we've got a lot more to do. Okay, y'all don't judge me. I literally cannot find my measuring tape. So I'm just laying out the sweater to like see how wide it needs to be. Josh really, really wants like an oversized sweater. So even though it only went to 57, we're gonna go up to 60 on both sides to make sure it's just truly oversized for him. I have this problem with projects where I'm like, oh, of course I'll just remember what I did. And then I forget. So for Josh's sweater, we're gonna write everything down. Sliding the pegs forward is like one of my favorite things. Ooh. Time to thread it up with our waist yarn to start. And may the odds be ever in your favor. Katniss and Peeta are in the training rooms and I have officially cast on with our waist yarn. I am now going to thread up the machine 
with the first color yarn and this is going to be like the edge at the bottom of the sweater. It's the same color that we're using for the pouch and also for like the edges at the base of our sleeves. Please work, please work, please work. Please work, oh God. Okay, fingers crossed. I think that our second color cast on without any mistakes. This is easily one of my least favorite things and one of the most time consuming things. This pink is going to be like the ridging at the bottom of the sweater. So I've got to go in and pick up every single stitch one by one and put it back on the knitting machine. So we're currently about two hours in to our project and to the movie, and we're going pretty fast, honestly. This is going way better than whenever we made my Dollar Tree sweater. One way that this is so much easier than when I did the Dollar Tree sweater is that I'm not switching yarn. With the Dollar Tree sweater, I switched yarn like every few inches to make a bunch of cool stripes. But on this project, we are just using like a color changing yarn and we're not changing the yarns. But being a thousand percent honest, this yarn is a lot worse to use on the knitting machine than the Dollar Tree yarn was. Something about the Dollar Tree yarn just like flowed way easier, even though this is technically the same weight of yarn. And I think they're both just like basic acrylic yarns, but there is something about this yarn, even though it feels really good, it's just, it feels like it's getting stuck in the knitting machine. Like whenever I was using the Dollar Tree yarn on Tension 9, it just flowed back and forth very smoothly. This on Tension 9 just feels like I'm getting a really, really, really good workout in. Let's see if we can cast off before the movie's over. So the first movie is officially over and I'm still not done casting off. Y'all, casting off is so tedious. Like, it's not necessarily like super hard or anything. It just takes forever. The first panel is done. Y'all, this looks so cool. Okay, y'all, I started today way later than I meant to start. It's like 6 p.m. and I'm gonna do my best to get the sweater done today. Low-key, I'm so excited for Catching Fire. It's my favorite Hunger Games movie. Let me know which Hunger Games movie or book is your favorite. Oh no, no, okay, I, I have a big mistake, but I think we can fix it pretty easily. I think, I hope we had the same thing happened that happened whenever we were making the Dollar Tree sweater where we keep dropping stitches. So do you see how these first like four or five completely came off the loop before it all falls apart? I need to put them back. Oh goodness, please, please, please. If you look closely, you'll see that our new color missed those first four or five stitches. So I genuinely don't know how this is gonna go but we're just gonna keep going and see if it works. So far, so good. Okay, the really hard part is done and it didn't all fall off. So now all I have to go is go boom, 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 back and forth 199 times and then this panel will be done. <laughs> I am getting so much faster at this, y'all. The quarter quill is about to start. Katniss is about to spin in her wedding dress slash Mockingjay dress. And I just finished the back panel of our sweater. Time to cast off. I am cracking up at the camera angle that I have to use to show y'all the whole sweater. 
y'all this thing is so cozy and perfect and soft and josh is gonna love it we just gotta make some arms and a pocket and a hood and of course we gotta sew it all together we're still using this sweater as a pattern for lack of a better term so i need to basically take the width of the sleeve times two so it starts at zero goes out to about 50. so 50 on both sides the only difference is these sleeves and most sleeves like taper, they get smaller as they go down. I don't really know how to efficiently do that. So we're gonna have really big flowy sleeves the same way that my sleeves were really big and flowy with my sweater. I personally really, really like big and flowy sleeves, but maybe that's just me. In the Hunger Games, we're still in Catching Fire. They're still in the arena. We are an hour and 45 minutes into the movie. So honestly, we did that back panel a decent amount faster than we did the front panel. When we started this project, we wound up two full skeins of yarn and the front and back panel of the sweaters ended up taking about that full two skeins of yarn. So we are out of yarn cakes. So we're gonna wind somewhere up. This is how much of the sleeve that we have done. I'm just gonna be measuring the sleeves length off of Josh's other sweater. Catching Fire is officially over, so it's time to watch, what's the next one? Mockingjay Part 1. It is after midnight on our second day of making Josh's Valentine's Day sweater. We are about an hour and 15 minutes into just finished sewing on the first sleeve. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's a sweater. I love the arms of these big sweaters. Oh my gosh, y'all. It is 12.40 a.m. So I think I'm actually gonna get ready for bed. And then tomorrow we will make the other sleeve, the pocket and the hood. I'm so excited to see Josh try this on. It's day three of making Josh a sweater for Valentine's Day on the knitting machine. We just got back from Chipotle. And y'all, I got to meet one of you guys at Chipotle. So if you are the lovely human that I met at Chipotle today, thanks for saying hi. It was great meeting you. We should be able to finish our sweater today. All I have left is the arm, the hood, and the pocket, which I know sounds like a lot, but y'all, it is so much easier to make these smaller panels than to make like the big panels of the sweater. So we're gonna get it done. My arms were like starting to get tired yesterday. So if I end up calling in backup and having Josh help me finish his sweater, don't judge me. <laughs> The way that I was so convinced I was gonna be able to get this sweater done before all the Hunger Games movies were over. Y'all, we are literally starting Mockingjay part two. This is the last Hunger Games movie. Am I gonna be able to get the sweater done before this movie's over? Kind of not looking like it. My arms were getting sore, so I called in reinforcements. What do you think? It's way more difficult than I thought. Right? <laughs> Y'all, like I, I didn't know how to explain how hard it actually is to move it back and forth. Oh, I've done it before with smaller yarn, I think. Yeah. And it wasn't, and so now, yeah, this is crazy. But we also have this really wobbly table. Yeah. I think it'll be a lot easier if we put it on the dining room table, which is a bit heavier. But then I can't watch Hunger Games. This is true. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. Okay, if you think it's bad to step on a Lego, do not step on a casting comb. These things really hurt. Y'all, I think it is safe to say that we are making a hoodie that hoodies. Now it's time to actually make the hood for the hoodie and I'm really nervous about this. I have never made a hood and all I can make are like rectangles and squares. I think I'm just gonna make a rectangle and then I think I can sew up the back and it'll turn into a hood. Am I visualizing this right? Is that how I make a hood? So I love every time we do one of these big projects, you can just like see me and my house just getting more and more disheveled by like the third or fourth day of the project. Why do I feel like I failed? 
Y'all, the Hunger Games movies are over and I'm still not done with the sweater. But I just looked up the total runtime for the first four movies. Nine hours and eight minutes. Nine hours is not bad. And like technically the sweater is done. The sweater is as much of a sweater as my Dollar Tree sweater is. The only reason we're not done is because we're making a hood in a pouch. So let's just say I can make a sweater in the time that it takes to watch all the Hunger Games movies, but not add on a hood <laughs> and a pouch. I think I'm just gonna go to my next nostalgic series and I'm just gonna turn on Twilight. If this works, I'm gonna be so excited. So y'all saw the sweater. I just finished sewing the hood together. Look at this hood. I have to sew it on and I'm like really, really nervous to sew it on. I don't know why, but I just, if this works, it's gonna be so cute and I'm gonna make myself one. We have a hood. This hoodie is everything. All we have left to do is to make like the pouch for the front of the hoodie and then sew it on. And then we just gotta like sew up some edges. Like we're gonna close up this on the sleeves, tuck in some loose ends, and we're gonna have a Valentine's Day present. I might be like in love with making clothes now. Like I have worn this sweater that I made myself like literally like 15 times in the last three weeks. Josh is already so excited about this hoodie. He says he's gonna wear it all the time. It's decided I'm gonna learn how to sew. I wanna make all the clothes. I wanna like really, really figure out like my signature style and how I really, really, really wanna dress. And I wanna make clothes. Casting off the pocket, and if this works, this will be the last thing that I'm making on the knitting machine for this project, and I just need to sew it on. I am so slow at hand sewing, it's crazy. I started sewing on the top of the pocket whenever we started New Moon, and we are 53 minutes into New Moon, and I just finished sewing on the top half of the pocket. Time to start on the bottom part. I really can't wait to learn how to sew with a machine. I wonder if I can combine machine sewing and the knitting machine. I'm gonna be unstoppable. Do you know what this is? Right here, right here. That, my friends, is the very last stitch. Just gonna weave in my last piece of yarn. New Moon is literally ending right now, so it officially took four Hunger Games movies and two Twilight movies. But I had it, but I had Happy Valentine's Day! Oh my gosh, it looks so cool! <laughs> <laughs> I'm tall, I'm trying to fit. <laughs> yeah, if you remember from the beginning of the video, Josh is 6'4", and it's always hard to find hoodies that are like long enough and stuff, <laughs> so we just made you one that was I long I have my enough. official first baggy hoodie. Yeah! It's, so it's never happened before. <laughs> this is like actually like how everyone else looks to me when they wear like oversized <laughs> like yeah. jackets and stuff. It's like, oh yeah, okay, this is it. This is the look. It's fun, right? <laughs> yeah, thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Day. <laughs>